today I will be building my real life beach house in hardcore Minecraft. And it actually turned out insane. It is exactly identical to the real house in real life. And just a quick reminder, I am partnered with G Fuel. And using the code cookie or the link below, you can get 30% off everything. Building this took me a very long time. So please subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy episode 21. Why am I starving and why do I have one health? I literally just woke up. It's like early in the morning. I can hear the birds chirping. Like, look, look at the sunrise. But let's head over to my super smelter 6000 and grab myself some more food. And there's no food. I guess I'm eating bricks today. Yes, yummy, yummy, yummy. How in the world was I at one heart? I guess we'll never know. But on the last episode, I built this awesome, epic, insane, giant, gone sexual, gone wrong animal farm in hardcore Minecraft and this beautiful barn. It looks pretty awesome, I think. It's super detailed, and I really like how it turned out. There's only one slight problem. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of empty in here. But I'm quickly going to build the interior of this barn and turn it into a horse stable. And then go exploring to find some horses so I can ride on them and break their backs because I'm like 6,965 pounds. Grab some resources here like slabs and let's get started. And there we go. The inside of the barn is basically complete. Now they're ready for some horses. Take my horse to the... Yeah, that's copyright. I can't finish this song. But let me add some hay so the horses don't uh, drown. Uh, drown? What? They don't starve. <laughs> All right, well, bam. There's some food, but there's no water. So uh, hopefully horses don't need water water to survive they probably do but now onto more exciting things i always wanted a horse in my hardcore series and i've never gotten one yet i don't think i've even seen a horse yet have i unless i've never acknowledged them but let's go try to find one i might as well grab some leads as well all right now where will be the best place to find some horses definitely not here so i'm already in the wrong place i'm guessing in the grasslands there's a lot of animals over there but no horses yet whoa look at that village that is insane i'm no, just kidding that's my village yo my legs are getting pretty tired running i can't seem to find any horses anywhere Oh, yo, what's good, bro? Found two horses. This one looks like a cow. I might want to take it then. It looks like my girlfriend. Yay. All right, let's try to tame this guy. Let's keep sitting on him. And this guy's stubborn. He does not want me on him. Probably because I'm hurting his back. Come on, buddy. Let me ride you. Yeah, that, that sounds really weird. Look, look at him shake his head. He's doing like the... What is he doing? He's doing a dance move right now. This boy's in the club. Let's put the saddle on him and the armor. And let's see how fast he is. Wow, this guy is horrendously slow. Did he jump at least? Oh my God, this guy's fatter than me. Let me steal your brother. This one isn't much better, but I'm going use the horse anyways to travel and try to find some more horses i'm sorry buddy but we're going to leave your friend um your friend doesn't care that much about you so the sun is setting though so hopefully the horse and i don't die let's see how i can jump you ah, no! i'll keep you safe with me okay, let me let me hide it oh my god can't... <laughs> ah. Ah! wait wait hello where'd you come from oh i'm so sorry horse i forgot there's a horse right there oh what that was the weirdest change of situation ever okay i'm hiding right here until it's morning i'll be right back I have a quick little snack break all right, I'm not sure if horses spawn in these biomes yet. So I might be out of luck on finding a horse. I can't find a plains biome anywhere. But let's keep searching because I need a friend. I literally have no friends, bro. I'm desperate. If you guys want to be my friend, drop some comments down below. Well, I'm definitely not finding a horse in this biome. And I'm not sure why that looks like it's man-made. There's no way that's generated naturally, right? It's like a long stick. Yo, I ran back into my desert. And there's a desert temple right there. I might have explored that before. I'm not sure, but uh, yes, Yeet. Oh, please don't die. Nice. That would have been pretty bad. And there's an abandoned nether portal. Hopefully, there's a golden apple in there. What are the chances? Golden apple. And yay, a mending golden sword. I always wanted one of these. No freaking way, dude. But let's check out this desert temple. And I haven't been here, surprisingly. So let's jump down. Uh -huh. Break that. And let's steal the TNT to start. And let's see what's in here. Ooh, another saddle. Oh, a notch apple. <laughs> yes. I literally called it. Well, I called it at the uh, abandoned nether portal. But hey, at least. I got one. Pretty much rich now. Oh, another regular golden apple and another regular one with some emeralds and another saddle. Pog champ, bro. Oh my god, I really need to stop saying that. Ooh, oh, we found the jackpot, guys. We found oh, there's another village over there. Hello, buddies. Don't mind if I ride your back. Uh, yeah, let me ride that back. All right, hopefully one of these horses is super fast like Usain Bolt and can jump really high like Michael Jackson. All right, he loves me. Let's put my saddle on. Jump. Why are all these horses like 
like average. This guy is smelly too. He jumps even lower. This guy, oh, why all these horses suck? Maybe the pokey dotted ones are faster. I think this guy's a little faster at running, but how about jumping? Yeet. Why are all these horses fat? These guys are all overweight. I thought I was the only one. Okay, this guy is super slow. Looks like I'm going to take the pokey dotted one. And let's go find another horse. I really want to find the perfect horse. Oh, I've literally been here like two episodes ago. This is the Mesa biome and the giant cactus I saw. And you guys told me the area in the Mesa biome is pretty rare as well. I think you guys said it's called the Badlands or something. Like all those spikes. It looks pretty custom. Yo, I found another village. What's up, boys? Hello, buddies. Let me steal all your hay because I need this to feed my horse. Uh, what's up, boy? Ah, uh, how to hit me but not the horse? How is that fair? Oh, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Move, run, run, run. Get out the cactus, you monkey. I'm literally the cruelest person on earth. There is another desert temple over here. So let's go check what's inside. Another notch apple. Could you imagine? That would be insane. All right, let's see. Oh, a lot of horse armor. I guess the world does know. I'm looking for some horses. Even more horse armor and, a, and two saddles in here. Okay, even more. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, the, the world knows I'm looking for horses. They're giving me everything but a good horse. Ah, you're trying to run for me, huh? You cannot not escape there's no way that's another mesa biome there's no way that's a separate one what there's no way i'm this lucky unless i ran in a giant circle okay never mind it's connected but dang this is a really fat biome and there's another village over there holy i'm i'm the luckiest man alive and another desert temple this desert is massive kind of like my beautiful personality and have i been to this one before i haven't this is so weird I i'm gonna have so much tnt by the end of this exploration time. Ooh, another regular golden apple, some iron, another saddle, emerald, and two diamonds. That's kind of peasantry, but I'll take it anyways. Yo, no way. There is no chance. I What? It, what? That is not possible. That thing's 15 blocks high. Hold up. I might have found the rarest thing and the most insane natural spawn in Minecraft history. No way. Also, how did this hay bale get here? I'll take it. That is insane. Somebody somebody put that in the, in the Minecraft world records or something. Oh, that is not not real. Yeah, you might have guessed it's not real. Oh, here we go. Here's some more horses. Okay. These guys are brown and some of them are pokey dotted. So, okay. One of these guys must be insanely fast. I can feel it. Oh my God. There's no way. There's no chance. I can literally crawl faster than this. Get in there, man. <laughs> What? So you could do that, but you can't. Oh my. I've been searching for three days already. The sun has set three different times. Okay, this guy is not that much faster. And oh, he could jump though. Okay, this guy is so fat as well. Oh my. He could, this guy can jump as well. Let's put four blocks down. And, and if they could jump four blocks, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Yeet. Okay, never mind. Okay, why can't I find a fast horse? All of these guys are so slow. Oh, I haven't tried this guy yet. All right, this is the one. This is the one. Hurry, hurry. The creeper's coming. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeet. Oh my. He He's slow as well. What the? Oh my. Actually, I've been here before, I think. I was here the last couple episodes ago. But wow, that, that looks like it's amplified. Oh, I found some more horses over there. I'm sorry, horse. I have to abandon you. Ah, good luck with those skeletons, buddy. Oh, there's a lot of horses. Wait, no, those are cows. <laughs> oh, look, is that another mace to buy him over there? That's like seven now. But since these horses spawned on an amplified mountain, that must mean that their jumping and running abilities are amplified, right? Like, if my mathematical corrections are correct, if my mathematics are correction, I'm praying. I'm literally praying right now. Ooh, this guy's not bad. This guy's actually not bad. He is pretty quick. And he can jump. He can jump pretty high. Look at this. Ouch. All right, that, that's decent. That's decent. I'm going to put him over here in the water. This just sounds like I'm trying on clothes as if these animals aren't alive. Quick disclaimer, please respect all animals on Earth. They are amazing creatures. I will feel so bad if this horse is super fast and can jump because this mama popped out two babies. And that must be the father. I'm, I'm going to feel so bad but i'm gonna have to test you out let's put the saddle on and yeah the horse is pretty pretty slow let's see the jumping oh my god this horse can jump okay jump three blocks oh easy okay jump four blocks okay not quite maybe the father can run faster oh there's a creeper coming there's a creeper coming i'll save you i'll save you oh my god is anyone hurt no okay we're good let's try this guy out he's decent oh my he can jump as well this is a jumping family four blocks though he can clear four blocks i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to steal your father i'm sorry children say say goodbye he's He's going for milk. And this guy is super fast, but this one can jump really high. Minecraft allows you to breed horses and then like their traits will kind of combine. So I'm going to take both of these horses since I have some leads and I'm going to bring them all the way back home and wait till the morning. So let's go for another snack break. Get some water, hydrate yourself and I'll be right back.
and the horses are still here that is good news let's hop on this guy take a lead and let's go this is gonna be a super long journey back home i'll see you guys in like an hour and we are finally back let's get them into their new home and you get in here as well and you live right across the jumper and everybody put some names in the comments this is the runner and this guy is the jumper all right but that took me a very long time now let's actually continue with the actual plan for this episode so today i will be building my real life lake house in minecraft on this world now just to be clear i am not filthy rich and i do not own a lake house it is not mine it's my friend's lake house just to clarify it has nothing too fancy See, just a little house by the lake <laughs> the first thing i need is some birch wood and i really hate building with birch wood but the lake house is pretty light in color so i'm gonna have to find a birch biome Ooh, i spy with my little eye that should be enough for the entire house just one birch tree i'm just kidding guys i'm gonna spend some time collecting all the birch trees i can since it's already here and this is the, actually the first time i collected birch logs i got a new advancement from that that is how much i hate birch logs but let's start resource gathering for the lake house all right, I actually got more birch logs than I thought I would just scrawling around this forest. I have no idea how to say that word, scrawling. <laughs> but this should be enough to build the entire house. I think I got everything I need, so let's go on an adventure to find the perfect lake to make this lake house. So this is the first structure I'll be building outside of my entire home area thingy. On the last episode, I did find a pretty good spot, but I don't really remember where it was. So let's go hunting for it. And sorry, I'm eating a lollipop right now, so I'm kind of fat. But this doesn't really look like a lake to me. Me. let's keep hunting all right i think i found the perfect spot to make the lake house right there in between these two mountains it's just like a nice flat area it looks perfect there's even birch trees just in case i run out it's like it's perfect the only thing that doesn't match the lake house is these mountains are a little too tall but it will do it will do and let's get started actually i need to clear all of these trees and this big mountain right here and can somebody please tell me why this little hill is so inconvenient for me it's just a small little thing sitting there it looks like somebody put that hill there I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. But let's start clearing out the land for this lake house. And now for the tedious and super boring part, let's start destroying this mountain right here in the middle of this area. Oh boy, let's get started. You know, I really wish I had a beacon at this very moment of my life. It would make my life a lot easier. <sighs> All right, mine up most of this area, but I'm getting really lazy, so I have an idea. Let's hop on my boy that doesn't have a name yet, and let's head back home and grab this really quickly. Okay, here we go. This will make life a lot easier. Let's put one right here, and now let's light it all up. Oh, no. Okay, click that one. Go, 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 go. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's lighting everything up. And it didn't do as much as I thought it would have. There's still one piece here and one over here. So let's light these up and boom. Okay, this will make my life a lot easier. <laughs> and now let's replace the floor with some dirt so it turns back into grass. And then we'll have a beautiful land to build this house on. And for some reason, I love doing this. So let's build up here. And all we got to do is do a quick swipe. <laughs> And well, bam, it's all dirt now. It's looking real nice. My lake house is definitely a lot deeper, so there's a bigger backyard. I don't have a lot of space to work with because uh, this giant mountain is blocking my way, which kind of stinks, but it's all good. I'll make it work. All right, let's start constructing this house. This is going to be a pretty hard thing to build, especially to build it exactly how it's supposed to look. But before I start, I really want to see what birch logs look like stripped. Oh my God, that actually looks really good. All that nasty white stuff disappears and turns into that. That is actually a really nice block to build with. Okay, so let's start off with the layout of the house i'm trying to build it with memory and my memory isn't that good so this is gonna be kind of tough but i do remember there is a little window right here on the front of the house like this and this is a bedroom and then there's a singular door right here oh this is giving me chills it's already looking like the home now i think the window protrudes out just a little bit like this so let's make this pretty big this is gonna be so weird because you guys are gonna know exactly what my lake cabin looks like once i'm done building this but that looks pretty accurate. Wow. I'm actually going to raise both of these just slightly and replace this with birch logs. And then this wall is literally just flat. So there's no windows at all over here. I think that's a pretty good size for the interior. And then there's another window right here. Just use your imagination, guys. Pretend this is real. Oh, yeah. Perfect. This seems like a pretty normal build to you guys. But for me, it's kind of creeping me out. I'm not going to lie. Over here, there's like a bed here and a bed 
here like that so i'm gonna cut it off here just for reference and then the kitchen kind of protrudes out like this i think and then it extends along with the bathroom oh i'm running out of space i might have to destroy some of this mountain oh yeah i forgot there's another room over here okay i'm gonna have to destroy some of this mountain this is so weird and then oh yeah i definitely need to make this a little bigger okay there we go 30 minutes later i cut out this mountain and it does suck that this mountain is in the way but one day i'll take some tnt and just completely blow this up and this bedroom over here is kind of big this right here would be a pretty good size and i'll come out all the way through here let's put the door like right there and make it go in like that oh yeah this is actually looking perfect because right when you walk into the backyard door you look right into a wall i'm pretty sure but that is pretty much perfect for now so let's build up all of these walls and then work on the second floor and here we go this is the inside of my cabin here's a door a window here is a bedroom the first one the living room the kitchen is right here here's another bathroom well, actually the first bathroom and here's the second bedroom and now i just gotta work on the upstairs part that goes upstairs and there's another bathroom and the master bedroom where the magic happens but it's looking pretty good so far i mean to you guys it kind of looks like a maze and just like birch blocks but to me i actually see my cabin which is super weird i'm so excited to see how this will turn out once i get the interior done and everything but now let's work on the front patio because there is one up here and then it actually drops down a level like this and there will be some fences right here and it goes down here to this level that goes all across the front side of the house exactly like this and then it goes down actually another level over here and then there's another sitting area right along here i think that i think that's how it is i don't quite remember this side but let's stick with that now on the back side over here there is another deck and this one is pretty big as well there's like a barbecue and this is where we usually eat our food so whenever we cook like hamburgers or hot dogs we eat it outside in the backyard and right over here is a jacuzzi so it's kind of far out like this so it's like a little hot tub and i think that's a pretty good size it, it might be a little bigger but there are like a couple steps that goes up towards it and right in the middle is the hot tub okay that's kind of small it should be bigger than this so let's just make this the size of the hot tub like that and and there's the outside patio it's pretty accurate i think there's some chairs here dinner table and this is where we usually walk into the house and now let's build the flooring inside the house and there we go we're getting closer to a finished house well not really i don't really have a ceiling yet but don't worry guys we're getting there now let's start working on the upstairs part so let's build some stairs all the way up and i do have some uh, pretty crazy memories of carrying my friend down these stairs <laughs> oh my i gotta destroy more of the land give me a sec all right now that we're on the second floor there is a bathroom room like right right here and then there's a little pathway that leads into the bedroom above this entire thing i cannot speak right now and then the master bedroom will be right on top of everything and this one is pretty big and so far i only have the bare bones of a house it's barely even a house it's just walls and flooring but don't worry guys it's gonna be awesome in a second let's just add a couple of more details now that the roof is finished let's add some glass panes to the windows here and it's really gonna make it look like it's almost finished what am i even say i literally don't know what i'm saying i'm just rambling out of my bum oh my god but this window right here is literally impossible to open i remember in the summer it was like 35 degrees celsius and we were all four of us were in this room sleeping and we couldn't open this window and out here was even hotter for some reason and we were cooking in here and we couldn't open this window we were oh we were roasting weenies in there actually there is a little window right here right in front of the toilet so when you pee you look out into the view into the neighbor's yard which is uh, kind of weird now that i say it and for the kitchen there is another small window like that and upstairs i don't quite remember i'm pretty sure there's only one window here just like this now that that's finished let's start working on the ceiling and the ceiling is just a flat design so let's fill up the entire house now the bottom floor is complete the ceiling is in and now we just gotta work on the upper floor and it's starting to really creep me out how how close 
mostly it resembles the actual house i really need to show you guys a tour and a video on how similar it is it's insane and now that the entire exterior outline is complete let's throw in some little details to make it look even better all right i'm back home and i grabbed a whole bunch of accessories to add to the size of the house to make it look cool now where did my horse go what the heck and if you guys are curious on how far away my home versus the lake house is this is my home you see it right there and if you pan left my lake house is right between these two mountains it's actually not too far away which is really nice for some reason i feel like i'm starting a new world building so far away from my actual home i feel like i'm starting something new maybe i should this should be like a new city i should just line up this entire coast with lake houses and just sell them to nobody because i have no friends <laughs> Let's add some fences so I don't fall off and hurt my back. And right in the front, there's a couple of lawn chairs. So let's put some stairs right here with some slabs. And these are perfect because you can sit here and look out into the beautiful view of the lake and some frozen fish. <laughs> and for some reason, there are squids in my lake. But down here, there's like a little campfire. So let's put some seating area. And right in front, there's two logs you can sit on. And right in the middle, there's the campfire. And I would say right over here, there is a picnic table. So let's just do something like like this actually let's change that up let's change all these up actually and let's actually use logs because they are logs and bam there we go and that is a pretty accurate representation of the house or at least the front of the house i'm not sure what else there is maybe like a mailbox right here <laughs> i'll just put that there i guess maybe i'll line this up with some trap doors to make it look just a little better with some buttons on the sides here oh i should add a doorbell actually let's, let's replace the trap door and put a button now for the upstairs window let's just add some little decorations around these windows because i don't exactly remember what's up here obviously okay that looks stupid how about just a straight line across and right at the top i'll just add a little square of trap doors and might as well be fancy and add some lanterns on the sides right here and, 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 and maybe a little design like that kind of looks like a mustache or something <laughs> and there we go the front side of the house is complete and at the beach house my friend does own two very large dogs so there is a huge fence right here so they cannot run away so let's just do that let's replace the middle part with some here we go and this is how we always enter the house just through the backyard let's continue the fencing all the way down i'm not gonna lie i picked a very bad spot to build this house right in front of a giant mountain oh boy no no oh bruh this enderman just placed down a piece of grass and walked into my house you're not welcome here get your balls out of my house and they do have a lot of shrubs and little green stuff around the fence so let's just fill it up like this and there is another beach house right beside this house but i'm not gonna build it because i do not remember what it looks like so i'm just gonna cover it up with leaves and at the house there was a lot of shrubs and bushes right over this fence and this might be a little too much information but you guys don't understand how many times i have peed in this bush over here like it is uncountable <laughs> i've peed so many times in these bushes a beach house or lake house isn't connected to like the city so you want to save water obviously and you know you don't want to flush the toilet so you just you know hydrate the earth a little bit you know what i'm saying and let's just break some of these fences and replace it with some leaves so it looks like it's kind of torn down and broken and that's a looking pretty realistic and now let's start working on the back side of the house and this is where the fun happens first things first let's work on the hot tub as i've spent so many hours just soaking my crusty body in this hot tub there we go is it possible to add some smoke probably not but let's try let's break the middle here and let's make a couple of signs let's slap them down here and if i break this and put campfires underneath would smoke come up and right oh it does Shit. I got a hot tub, baby. That is Pagu. Let's go. We got a hot tub. Just try your best not to fall down into it. <laughs> and let's line up the sides with some trap doors. And there we go. The hot tub is complete. Now let's put some trap doors alongside here because there is some steps that looks just like these trap doors. And we always sit on this side right here, just putting our feet in the hot tub. It's like you guys are coming into my life. It's so weird. This is looking so realistic right now. I think I might have made the backyard a little too big, though. I'm not going to lie. Because there's not usually this much room back here in real life let's make some trap doors here and right here is a big recycling area or something so we always throw our bottles and our drinks into here and it, it is pretty big it's always full of drinks oh we're not alcoholics i swear and right here in this corner there are some extra chairs so let's just put an extra one right here and put some trap doors on it and this is where you sit when you're the lonely guy so i always sit right here all right now let's start working on the grill how on earth are you supposed to make a grill in minecraft i'm just gonna copy a design on google so follow along it actually looks really good but i need a sp oh oh the spiders are here okay i kept hearing spiders somewhere and i actually need string to make some looms hello oh my god okay oh my god don't please don't blow up please okay 
Please get out of my house. And die. Uh, go away. Okay. Hello, spiders. Let me grab a looting sword. This is amazing. Okay. Four string. Exactly what I need. Let's put the string down. And how do we make this loom? Oh, there we go. First time making a loom. And the grill is right here. So let's put these down. And this is perfect because there's like grill lines. Totally not for making banners. Pfft. Now, all you gotta do is put some iron frames right here. Iron trap doors like this. And it'll look like some handles. Flip them so they're facing each other. And now, I'm gonna put two iron trap doors on the top. And how do I flip these? Like this? How do I keep them flipped open? Maybe I can't use iron trap doors. What, what if I place them like this? Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna use birch trap doors like this. And bam. Oh, that looks pretty good. But let's put some walls like this. And some iron trap doors. And I have no idea how to add smoke now. Maybe if I throw some campfires underneath, it will somehow go through this. Oh, no let's see let's see if it works that'd be pretty pog oh my god it actually works hello how's it going through this block what okay there we go we got ourselves a grill it's gonna destroy the top of the ceiling though so let's put like a little air duct right here and capture all that and let's put some two more iron oh my god how, how do i keep forgetting this word let's put two more iron trap doors underneath and put them like that and there we go we got ourselves a grill it's definitely not this fancy in real life but this is where we cook all our weenies and our burgers and everything oh it's so good after being out in the ocean or on the lake like surfing Thing or kneeboarding and you come back to like the hot tub and the hot dogs oh man so good okay let's continue so what you want to do is put trap doors facing this way like this and then put another trap door on the top so it looks like a table and then just line it all the way through wait which way does the table go again okay i think that's right but let's move it over one actually and it's a pretty big table so it goes all the way throughout down here okay it's not this big in real life and now let's come over here put some trap doors down flip them and then flip these and now you got yourself a table <laughs> Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Ah! You know the horror movies when you like trip and fall? That's literally what just happened to me. And 360. Yeet. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Yeet. Well, how you didn't die? There you go. <laughs> Loser. Okay, now that we got the table, let's start working on some chairs. So let's put one in this corner, one in this corner. And I think I need to separate them all by two, like that. Just so I can put some trap doors on them and make them look like actual chairs. And let's move the table one block longer. So, like this. Put some trap doors, flip them. And then bam, bam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got our table. All right, now that the table is done, there are some extra lawn chairs right here as well. So you can just sit and vibe. And there is a little footstool right in the middle here. And how are we going to make it that? So let's try to do something like... Actually, no. A footstool is pretty small. So let's just make a little bump like this. Bop, bop. There we go. There's your footstool. And there are some hooks alongside this wall. So you can put all your dirty clothes and dry all your stuff after being out in the ocean. And let's just put some buttons on the sides too. And they can be like little hooks as well and that is pretty much the back side of the house it looks almost identical to be honest it's pretty crazy now we're just gonna add some little house lights on the sides along here and one over here and there we go now that the outside is complete let's start working on the inside of the house all right right when you walk in there is a little bench over here where you can put all of your shoes and it's like a little shelving area like that oh my god i totally forgot there's a little closet over here oh no i don't think i have room for that i should have made the kitchen a little bigger oh i totally messed up then because there's a little room right here with like laundry with the washers and everything and all the cleaning supplies i can't believe i missed that but anyways right in this corner there are some little tables here to put all your keys and like some clothes and stuff there is a little basket for towels right here and that is pretty much it for the front i think and might as well just add some little designs like that and the light switch for the inside of the bathroom and now let's start decorating the inside of the living room And looking through the window, having it all furnished inside looks pretty amazing. I've said it so many times, but it scares me how accurate I've made this. It's literally identical to the house. Trust me on... Th what the... Yo, yo, get out. You're not welcome. What the heck? You're here too? Bruh, get out. I really need a light up this place. This thing looks so accurate to real life. It is insane. It's like I can feel you guys in the actual house. Okay, that, that sounds a little bit too weird now. But yeah, we will just sit here on this comfy couch and just stare off into the ocean or the lake after a whole 
whole bunch of grinding on videos. I sit here on this very chair and just look out into the distance. It's amazing. But anyways, enough talking. Let's finish up the house. I still have a lot to build. And this is where most of the guests actually sleep. So there's four beds in here. They're actually bunk beds. And it's so crammed in here. It's crazy how we fit four dudes in here. But let's go back and grab some wool. And let's hop on my horse. Yeet. And let's go. Oh my God, just yanked his neck. I'm sorry, I forgot you were on a lead. All right, let's go, buddy. Okay, let's grab some wool. And let's make sure I have everything else because I don't want to run back here. It takes me so long. Maybe some bookshelves. And let's actually make some different colored beds. Let's make a red one. Purple one would be pretty cool. And let's rock with a yellow one. And let's head back. And let's start crafting up these different colored beds. And now let's slap them down. Bam, 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 and bam. And trust me, it's a lot tighter in here in real life than on Minecraft. And I always slept on the top bunk bed and it would get so hot up there. Painful. And there is a shelf right in the middle. So I'm not sure how to build this thing. Just trap doors and slap them like that. Now there's a little table right here with a mirror like that. And let's put a bookshelf up here, I guess, with a trap door. And there actually is a little TV on this wall. So how on earth do I make a TV now? <laughs> Why is this infested with mobs? Oh, they're coming from upstairs, huh? I swear I lit up this entire place. Maybe not in here. What the, yeah, where are these guys coming from, bro? I don't understand Minecraft. But let's just slap a painting down like that. And there we go. There's our TV. Actually, let's let's make it more fancy. I don't like it. Let's put a stone brick wall like that. And let's put the painting like... Oh, there we go. Now that looks like the TV. It's exactly that size as well. I have no idea what this painting is, though. <laughs> let's change it. All these paintings kind of suck. I'm not going to lie. What is the best painting? Flower? What is this? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I like that one. And you always get the beautiful view of the sun setting in real life as well. That's actually crazy how close it looks like in real life. And this room gets so hot. You guys don't even understand. Four fat dudes in here, including me, which makes up half the weight. This room gets so stinky and so steamy. Oh boy. And now let's start working on the kitchen. Yo, I got a flood in my house. No, I forgot ice melt. I was trying to make a water machine thing, but I don't have ice. But so far, so good. The living room is done. The kitchen is done. I'm gonna show my friends in real life and I'm gonna try to get their reaction. They're gonna be like, what the heck? Why does it look so similar? But we still got the bathroom, this room, and moving upstairs, we still got the second bathroom and the master bedroom to build. But for the bathroom, it's pretty simple. Just put this here. This is a bathtub. Let's put a lever down because this will be the the shower head. Let's put some trap doors that go along like this. And this would be the shower curtain thing. Right here, there is a roll of toilet paper in front of you, kind of like that. It kind of goes up a little bit. And the toilet, there is a toilet right here. And you get to pee and look outside, which is a, uh, I thought it's kind of cool. <laughs> and let's put a button. Uh, where should I put the button right here? I guess that'll be the toilet. And for the sink, the sink is pretty small. So let's put that there. Let's put a lever. That'll be the faucet. And there is a little cabin. What's is called a cabinet oh i'm stupid and a little cabinet on the top of the sink with a item frame and let's put a trap door as the handle and you can't forget the lights and there we go bathroom is complete and now let's just fill up the bathtub with some water let's fill up all these cauldrons with water as well now for this bedroom this one is pretty simple as well and here it is it's just a simple bed there's some nightstand tables some lights a dresser and a little table here that's pretty much it for the second bedroom and now finally the first floor is fully complete it looks so nice fully decorated and furnished out but now let's head upstairs let's actually fix this up first it's bothering me there we go let's head and now let's work on the second floor from what i remember the toilet is on this side i'm pretty sure i have no idea if there's a cabinet above it but let's just do that let's just leave it as that i have no idea and there we go that works and let's just put a little table here and another shelf like that and onto this room the master bedroom this one is super simple as well and i do not remember anything else i was a uh, super drunk when I was last in this bedroom. So I have no memory of what is in here, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's just like this. It's super simple. The front side of the bed could be fancy though. So might as well do something like this. And you get a beautiful view of the ocean as well. And finally, the entire interior of the house is complete. And it's looking identical to the real house. It's pretty creepy. I'm not gonna lie. And there's one last thing to add to this house. And that is the dock into the ocean and where we always jump off into the water. And well, bam, all the support beams are in. 
And right on the side of the dock, there is a little jet ski that we ride. Or you guys might call it a sea do. And that's my jet ski. It looks really stupid. And to finish it off, let's just put some signs alongside the side of the jet ski or the sea do. Oh my God, where did these two dolphins come from? What's up, bros? Check out my new, uh, check out my beach house, guys. What do you guys think? I just finished. Holy cow, you moved fast. Oh, and they ditched me. Where did they go? Okay, it was, it was nice knowing you guys, I guess. Oh, they're back. Perfect timing because the house is finally complete. And finally, after three full days of building, there is my real life beach house or lake house, whatever you want to call it. I spent so many real life moments in this very house that it is fully built in Minecraft now. Everything looks so identical. It creeps me out. The backyard, the hot tub, the grill, even the inside where the living room is and the kitchen. Everything looks so real and so identical. It is crazy. So now you guys, the viewers can finally see how my real life cabin looks like. And you guys can feel like you guys are a part of it. But thank you for coming along with my journey. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, everybody.